Apple's got brand new MacBook Air laptops for 2025, and we've got them here in the PC Mag offices, and they are lighter than ever on your wallet. So what's new with the MacBook Air for 2025? Well, knowing that the design is completely unchanged outside of two features, we'll start there. First is the sky blue color. Uh, this is a new colorway from Apple. It is uh, barely blue, and it actually changes its tone based on how the light hits the, uh, the surface of the laptop. So if you look at it directly on from the light, it looks more silver. But if you pull it away from the light, it starts to look more blue. The other brand new feature to the MacBook Air actually comes from the MacBook Pro line from late last year, and that's the center stage camera. It's a 12 megapixel webcam on the front, just in the display notch, just like before. But this lens is actually ultra wide, um, so it has a wider viewing angle, but then it's also boosted by the neural engine uh, within the new M4 processor inside the MacBook Air. And what that does is it allows the camera to actually follow you as you move about within the confines of its frame. So what about the inside of the new MacBook Air? Well, it may be familiar to you if you have a MacBook Pro from last year because this is the M4 processor, new to the MacBook Air, not necessarily new to Apple. Uh, the difference here being is it's still the 10 core CPU that you get across the M4 line, but you have an option in the 13-inch model to have an 8-core or a 10-core GPU, but all of the options for M4 have the 16-core neural engine. Now, what you should expect in terms of performance is perhaps something slightly less than the M4 you would find in a 14-inch MacBook Pro, and that has to do with the MacBook Air's fanless design cooling the processor. The MacBook Pro uses a fan-cooled system, which allows it to operate at higher temperatures and therefore higher power uh, ratings. Here, you're gonna throttle sooner, and that might impact your performance, so decide accordingly. Because of this change with the, uh, the higher baseline memory, you can configure a system with way more capacity than before. For instance, I was able to on Apple's website, roughly speaking, not looking at it right now, I think about $300 cheaper to get 512 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of memory and the 10 core GPU in the 13 inch model. Thanks for watching folks. If you want more information about both of the new MacBook Air laptops for 2025, read my fully tested reviews on PCMag.com.